first off, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. I appreciate everybody that comments and is that supporting us on this journey of the rise of Run the Block. And thank you for joining us. First off, let's talk about uh, this weekend. This weekend was an absolutely highly anticipated eventful weekend. The military fours dropped or the industrial blue fours dropped. And must I say, it was very, very easy for you to get this release. If you just put a little bit of effort in, you could have definitely got at least your size if you wanted it. As you can see behind me, we secured about 84 pairs locally in men's. And that's a that that's that's very good. Uh, that's very very good for us. I think online we did about 150 pairs. Um, online, let's see what sticks though. Let's see what sticks. I think as of now, like 80 of them stuck so far. So let's see how many more stick. But that's the name of the game, guys. This military blue four was probably one of the easiest fours you could have got um, within the last year or so. Let's take a look at them again. I know we already talked about it in our last video, but. Let's take a look, all right? So like, I, like like we talked about, this four is a little bit different with the color blocking, I mean, not the blocking, the, the color uh, of the actual blue on the four. Um, it was just a little bit different than the older one. Uh, but hey, still a nice shoe. As you can see, the collectors are still loving them. I think I checked on release day. It was like almost 2,400 pairs sold within the last three days. So they're definitely, definitely moving very very quick now would i invest in these like i said no i wouldn't go buy them uh for resale unless you're getting like a crazy good deal for under retail you know maybe like 220 225 if you could get these um which is not under box retail but under retail if you have taxes included i think our cost was like 231 after taxes if you know but use a couple of discounts here or there or whatever you know it all it all makes sense but beyond that fact uh locally man just between jd and finish line within florida at least was like 1350 pairs uh which is quite a lot i mean the local jd here is supposed to get like a late shipment so we'll see but the local jd here had like 40 pairs on release day i think or 100 i don't know 40 50 pairs on release day not too mistaken, our, our bo local boutique social status had uh, quite a bit of pairs. Um, so JD, Finish Line, Snipes, Champs, Foot Locker, uh, all these spots, you know, they had at least 25 plus pairs. I know Dick Sporting Good had their pairs too, um, but they did like a, like a wristband release, which they always do uh, for releases like this. Um, you have to go wait in line like two weeks before and then or a week before, get your wristband, then you come show it and then... All the unclaims were sold around 12 o'clock. A lot of spots had first come, first serve. So if you just put a little bit of effort in, like I was talking about earlier, you definitely could have got this shoe. All right. We had about five, six people uh, that that's a part of Run the Block that went out and helped us on this release that helped us get these 84 pairs. And I mean, we didn't really like get to where we needed to get to until like nine o'clock and places open at 10, 11. And we were still able to secure stuff even after we left the first spot and went to a second spot, like we were just able to continue to get more pairs. So if you put the work in, you could have got your shoe. But if you didn't, hit us up. But anyways, man, on to the more facts. Uh, real quick, shout out Loot Notify. They always provide me with the greatest info. Uh, their Instagram will be linked down below. Click a follow on there. Go ahead and apply to be in the Discord and you'll get all the most updated info wherever you're at. They'll provide it to you. Shout out my dog. You know who you are. With my opinion, like I said, I wouldn't be investing in this shoe. Get them in. Get them out. Make sure you go ahead and flip them real quick. Like I said earlier, you could buy them $220, $225. But I would wait right, to, right before back to school if you're going to buy some pairs. And then resell them right for back to school. That will probably be your best bet. Um, just a little bit of advice, though. Make some friends in these stores. You know what I mean? Like, it's not that hard. Make some friends. You'll be able to get the shoe that you want. Especially if you're just getting it for your personal a lot of these guys, you know, really mess with you if you are really just shopping for your personal and you're just a collector. So they'll take care of you. But this shoe was super simple for us to get. wasn't difficult. The fact that it, the market is just reflecting so low is just another another factor just to show you that reselling is kind of hard to get into right now if you're not already into it like us. Kind of difficult. But if you have any questions, feel free to hit us up. I'm always down to provide any advice that I can to be able to help you guys on your resale journey. 
I'm completely cool with that. I don't care. I'm not trying to hide anything. I'm trying to help as many people as I can. Make sure you comment down below. Was this release as easy for you to get as it was for us? If you have any questions on to how we get so many shoes or, or, or what we do different that make us different, that maybe allow us to get this many pairs, Hit us up. Any questions you have, I'll answer them. So just let me know. All right, guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Also, let us know down in the comments, what kind of content do you want us to provide? You know, more of like a learning thing where you want to maybe pick my brain as to what I do or how I do it. You know, you want to know why we buy certain things. You want to see more of like the day-to-day -day content where we're packing orders, shipping orders, getting orders in, unboxing, you know, what, what stuff do you want to see? Let us know. We're going to be getting more deep into the content on YouTube, get more focused on it. Um, so just let us know in the comments, what do you want to see from Run the Block? We're down. So just hit us up. All right. I appreciate everybody. I appreciate all the love and support that has got us to where we're at now. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.